afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Vuyokazi Mtembu. Um, I'm from the University of KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. Um, I will be presenting on strategic uh, management paradoxes on behalf of myself and the two colleagues, uh, Dr. Ndombela and Dr. Ngobo, also from the same university. Um, as I've explained, our topic is on strategic management paradoxes. Um, but just to give you a brief introduction on what uh, this is about, as you are all aware, all of you are aware that um, businesses these days, they operate under an environment that is very complex, that is complicated, that is dynamic, um, that is agile, basically. And um, some of the scholars, they call the environment a VUCA, it's an, an acronym VUCA, which stands for volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And now there's also another new terminology used to describe this environment, and it's called the BAMI, which is a brittle, anxious, non-linear, and it's a very incomprehensible environment. Uh, because of that challenge, which is a global challenge, and it's also uh, the dynamic environment is also exacerbated by what we have recently seen, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, it, it, it shaped, it, it, the whole business world was shaken by the, by the pandemic, as well as other issues that we see that are changing over time. Uh, for example, the, the, the global warming issues, the weather patterns, I, I, will, I will speak about South, Af South Africa, they have also changed a bit. We've experienced a number of floods and, and, and other weather patterns that are changing and they, they affect how businesses uh, and, and how society live. So um, basically then how do you plan under such an environment as business leaders? How do you ensure that you have strategies that will allow you to be competitive, that will allow you to survive under such a very complicated and dynamic environment. Hence, we came with, with uh, hence we decided to uh, uh, pursue this research with my study, uh, with my, this study with my colleagues on how managers um, can, can really uh, 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 plan or, or how do you do strategic planning under such environment. Uh, this is literature, literature review. I'm not going to go uh, through every sentence here, um, but to understand strategic par uh, paradoxes, it is imperative to define a strategy, both intended and emergent strategy. When we talk about um, uh, um, a paradox, a paradox, it's like a statement of contradictions. Uh, it, it says something and then you get something else. It's something like that. It's, a, it's, a, it's where there is a bit of conflict. As much as businesses will have their strategic plans in place and they would like to commit into those strategic plans to be, to be competitive, but there is always the change in environment that really influence how business will implement that strategy. And in strategic management, we speak of an intended and emergent strategy. When we speak of an in intended strategy, it's the strategy that you intend as a business. It can be your five-year plan, your 10-year plan that you intend to implement. And then the environment will do its own thing. And then what happens that you end up implementing something else, which is an emergent a, a, a strategy. So that is the difference between intended and emergent strategy. And, and, the, and um, the organization plan as defined in detail in an organization strategy plan is related to the intended strategy as, as I've explained. It is a strategy that is highly considered by top management and is responsive uh, strategic management tool and scope used to achieve competitive advantage of the business. When we talk of an emergent strategy, it's viewed as a response to unanticipated changes and problems which normally emerge from positions where business level strategies are regularly executed. So these are some of the explanations from scholars of the difference between the intended and as well as the, the, the emergent strategy. Um, Strategic uh, paradox, I've also explained, explained co conflict between commitment versus uh, uncertainty, that conflict, that contradiction. And, um, and uh, a lot of business, uh, I mean, a lot of scholars have explained uh, or have suggested that 
Para uh, strategic paradoxes are vital within the organizations as they create an opportunity to accept the change, work through the contradictions in order to integrate alternatives and establish synergy. As much as business leaders will not uh, really be looking forward to experience such challenges that the environment impose. But what a lot of scholars who have done research on this work, they are saying as much as it can be seen negative to have those uh, uh, challenges in, in, in strategy, but leaders who will be successful to lead under this kind of environment, they need to have an attitude and a mindset to embrace these paradoxes. Because what these paradoxes do, they uh, force business to be innovative. They force businesses to be creative. They force businesses to understand that under such an environment, it cannot be a business as usual. You need to adjust, you need to adapt, you need to be flexible, and you need to be agile. The methodology and the findings that uh, were uh, the findings of the study, the methodology that we employed, it was an in depth, uh, semi structured uh, interviews. Uh, it was uh, conducted in a, in a research agency in South Africa, as I've explained, where 18 senior academic leaders responsible for strategic planning were interviewed. And a uh, thematic analysis uh, was um, employed uh, to analyze uh, the, the data collected. The results of the study uh, found the following, that uh, the agency, which was the context of the study, predominantly employed intended strategies, and that it deals with strategic uh, paradoxes almost daily, because it is an, in a, it's an academic, insti uh, academic uh, institution, and uh, they operate in an environment where there are a lot of changes as well. So managers in that environment, they deal with strat strategic paradoxes on a daily basis. This study also revealed that there is a relationship between the intended and emergent strategy and that the two cannot be entirely separated. Findings also re revealed that the organization policies and the organizational culture plays a huge part when it comes to strategic implementation and how the, 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 the business adjust and adapt under this uh, uh, volatile and dynamic environment. Uh, conclusion, it is recommended that the impact that both strategies can cause requires organizational leaders to take proper care in ensuring that employees understand where the organization is going. Otherwise, strategic implementation can be compromised. So remember, usually in most businesses, it will be the role of the top leaders to, to, to do the planning, the strategic planning. But what, what the, 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 the researchers in this area say is that strategic planning should not only be the role of top leaders in the company, but it should be understood by everyone in the company from the top level to those who are at the lower levels uh, of management and general employees of the company. This will ensure that everybody understand the kind of environment the business operate under and be able to understand what needs to be done in case there are changes or there is transition that is required for a business to be competitive advantage. So strategy planning should no longer be only a top management priority, but it should be everybody's priority. And um, it is also important as it allows, um, strategic par paradoxes are important as they allow organization to make strategic choices, which will allow them to better deal with the changing business environment. Um, that is all, colleagues. I'll stop here. Thank you so much.